Hello, welcome back to Let's Play... Um, uh, what do you call it? Let us play, um, Battletech. Where I am in one of the plot missions, and it's a little bit dicey. It's a little bit dicey. LRM's coming in. Warning. Armor must fall. Yeah. Oh, that's not great. Receiving you. Coordinates received. I just hit your everything. That's not great. Vigilance and fire. Oh, that's good. So, what's left? Is these two? <laughs> I did not expect to hit with the gauze rifle. Transmission complete, Lady Arana. We have the package in hand, and Sumaya is on her way. Mission All targets eliminated. Sit tight, and I can collect you from where you are right now. What is this cousin? You're running, leaving Lord Madeira behind. I thought that you would do anything for each other. I will take him back for you, from you, Victoria, personally. I look forward to it, Camilla. In the interim, know that your dearest friend will languish as I languish in Lord Carosa's dungeons. I will make him suffer in your stead. I have a feeling that you probably languish much. You probably suffered much less than he's going to. I know what I'm abandoning him to, Victoria. As does he. Alexander is more courageous than either, either of us, and if you hurt him, I will kill you myself. I swear that on my father's name. That was so dicey! I mean, it actually was probably less dicey than I thought it was. I've had dicier fights. Hydrate. Okay. 
Uh, no gear was broken. That's not mine to uh, fix, but Behemoth's going to be in the med bay for eight days. Oh my goodness, Kamiya! Five kills. Five mech kills, three vehicle kills, three kills. One kill, three vehicle kills. One mech kill. Three mech kills and one vehicle kill. Okay, um, Black Knight. Not that I'll end up using it because I'm past 75 tonners at this point, but yeah. Check to see if there's any really good, oh, there's a good lar large laser. There's a good LRM-20. I'm not really using missiles right now. There's a Really good medium laser. Correction, I am using LRMs on some things. Uh, but where was it? It was real. It was a good one, wasn't it? Uh, LRM twenty. Take the Wolverine, I think, because I can sell it. I got a good medium laser. Oh, no, that's the one I selected. I got a good flamer, I guess. Becoming friends with the Pyro Faction will increase your chance to purchase ac access to the black market stores. And if you piss them off, you never get access to black market. Like me! This is not great. Oh man, they have tears coming from her eyes. That's... I love the style of animation they're using for the cutscenes. Necessity over conscience. Dr. Murad, have you gotten that active... that archive cracked open? I want to know what it's inside, and I want to know it now. Yes, Lady Orano. I just finished cracking the encryption. There's a lot here. Ledgers, spreadsheets, cost analyses, and a single holo file. I recognize the coding on that file. My auth father authorized his archivist in House Madeira to install a hollow recording system in the Arano Palace before his death. It was meant to preserve an ongoing record of, it, of important diplomatic events. The system must still be active, and Alexander's family had access to it. Hmm. Put it up on the view screen, Doctor. Let's see what we lost Lord Madeira for. Roger that, Commander. Here goes. <clears throat> I understand your hesitancy, daughter. It's a difficult thing what I'm asking you to do, but this galaxy is hard and uncaring place. If our directorate is to be to thrive, we must be even harder. I have no qualms about killing for the greater glory of the directorate, father, but this... Please help me understand. Show me the wisdom in carrying out this attack, because I cannot see it myself. Broaden your perspective, Victoria. Think beyond the reach, beyond the periphery. Our directorate is growing stronger, but we stand among giants. To the successor states, we are nothing. A tin-pot dictatorship in a galactic backwater. To be ignored or crushed as they please. If we are to survive in the long term, we need a strong ally, but we have nothing to offer in return. We cannot change our circumstances. The reach is comparatively small and poor, and that is how it will remain. What we can do is shift the political balance of the periphery by engineering conflict. We give ourselves value as a buffer state and an ally of convenience. And by doing this to 
perdition, you'll create the conflict you seek. That's what I thought was going on here. Yep, you're the people who carried out the Perdition Massacre. Yes, your target is a port city that serves as the primary supplier of Perdition's aerospace bases. A chemical strike there will look like a backdoor attempt to undermine Calderon's military readiness. He'll assume that the method of attack was chosen for the purpose of plausible deniability. And when he points his finger at House Davian in response, I will quietly approach him with an offer of support. And if this embroils us in a war with the Federated Sons, it won't. Calderon will not strike without proof, and despite his fears to the contrary, the periphery is beneath House Davion's notice. He will be... We will be the, the Concordance's silent partners in a cold war that never goes hot, and the Reach will grow stronger than it ever could on its own. And if our attack fails, if I'm caught, then our directorate will perish, and us alongside it, but inaction isn't an option, Victoria. An alliance built on a lie is better than no alliance at all, and our directorate cannot survive indefinitely in a vacuum. I cannot trust a task this sensitive to any mercenary. It has to be someone who truly loves the Reach and who understands the price of failure. I don't enjoy sending you to do this, but I am trying to accomplish in five years what House Arano should have done across a span of three lifetimes. To safeguard the Reach on such a short timetable, risks must be taken, and sacrifices have to be made. Show me that you are the defender of the realm that I know you to be, and accept this terrible responsibility, not for me, but for our people, for the Reach. No, it's for you. Be honest with yourself. You want power. I understand, Father, and I'll do what you ask, for the glory of the Reach. The video feed winks out. A test pattern replaces it. Gods, it doesn't even matter what else is in the Archive. With this, we could turn the Torians against the Directorate. Protector Calderon will want Espinosa's head on a plate. Then let's go ahead and serve it to him. I must admit, there is a certain poetry in that idea. I'm marking the evidence with my personal seal and sending it to the Torian government. When they respond, we'll find out whether all this was worth it. But in the meantime, we need to focus on getting Lord Madeira back. He'll be on the throne world. It wouldn't make sense for them to take him anyplace else. That's your best chance. Yeah. No bargaining. Agreed, but if they mo we move on Koromodir Cor directly, the Directorate's naval fleet will attack our flank from their base on Tirlon. If, on the other hand, we attack and liberate House Parata, there will be nothing my uncle can do to prevent us from invading Koromodir. Cor we'll have him by the throat. I'll take my leave of you now, Tarask. I have allies to rally and an army to marshal. The Restoration will summon you when our forces have been assembled for the assault. And we'll keep doing our thing until we receive your summons. Back to work, people. If we're going to stage an assault on Turret Lawn, we're going to need all the firepower we can muster. You all know what that means, so let's get to it. Don't usually include jump jets. Okay. So, what we're going to do now is go to the mech bays. Repair this. See if... Uh, no. no. So I don't think it's worth keeping. The firepower is pretty good, but... Movement's okay on this. I have the Grasshopper for movement, though. I should have brought the Grasshopper on that mission, to be honest. Okay. The Grasshopper is better on everything. Or same or better on everything. So, uh, the Wolverine, sorry, you're going to go. Is there no store? Make yourself We're in hostile area, aren't we? Oh, 
Hard contact. Uh, we're just going to. There's a travel contact there. That's Tierlon. Gang talk. Coromo deer. Smithen. Yeah, sure. Roger that, Commander. Post plotted. I wrapped up that job you asked for. Cool. Mm, not there yet. Uh, nope. Good to go. You, I think, get gunnery. Cool. Yeah. Uh, guts. Anybody else still low enough that they're they're getting training stuff passively? Apparently you are. Training complete. Aye aye. Receiving you. Yeah. Commander. Standing by. Ready for orders. Good okay, to go. Falconer. Yes, Commander. Nope. Good to go. Nope. Ready for orders. Ow. Waiting for orders. Nope. Commander? And nope. Okay. We can actually afford to just hang out a while. Lay low. I mean, we can't afford to. I don't know that we will. Class Warfare. Raise voices echo down the mess deck hall, and you ride to find Archangel nose to nose of Rounder. I don't care about your noble family. You don't give me orders, Archangel snarls, poking the other mech warrior in the chest with each word. Rounder lifts their chin. Even out here in the periphery, you should know enough to listen to your betters. Archangel's fist flashes out before anyone can intervene, sending Rounder staggering, blood erupting from a broken nose. In the dangerous silence that falls, the room finally knows you've arrived. A single fork clatters to the floor. Punish them both. Discipline Rounder for trying to pull rank. She's not trying to pull rank. She's pulling... Uh, I guess it is rank. It's Yeah, but silly. Confined arc... I mean, we get it in real life all the time. Our angels, of course... Yeah, that, that'll go over well. Have them fight in the gym instead. Two mech warriors circle in the makeshift boxing ring while the crow, crew shouts encouragement. Both mech warriors have taken a beating over the course of the eight rounds, but while Archangel has passion, Rounder has precision. Archangel flagging back and back against the rope springs forward with a final surge of energy. In response to such a wild assault, Rounder steps, turns, and strikes in a pattern they probably practice hundreds of times. At expensive, at expensive fighting school, Archangel goes down hard. Uh, as the referee reaches the 10 count, the crowd goes wild. I wonder if this is a random chance, whichever one ends, and they're both injured now. Okay. <sighs> that 
was probably not the best way I could have handled that. I should have punished them both. We've arrived at Smithen. Okay. Selling. Mex. Sell. Sell. Uh, buying. There is the stalker piece. Movement is absolutely horrible. Sure. New equipment available. Mounts a ridiculous amount of weaponry, even for an assault mech. It's notable for its incredibly poor heat management. <laughs> what is the cost it pays for such amazing dam which is powerful but to be used wide wildly? Horrible. Oh, joy. I'm glad I spent money on that. Uh. Okay. Uh, let's see. I don't think I want to buy anything there. What about contracts? Connecting to comstarmerk.net. I can't start another thing. Defeat in detail. Capturing production. And I can't do the pirate one. Because pirates don't like me. Torian Strongo, this has left the bulk of Torian forces in the field with nowhere to withdraw to. We'd like you to engage those forces and destroy them in detail. The goal is to break their ability to take the field against us for the foreseeable future. That means none of their use units should survive. Okay, so I am going to save and end that for now. Talk to you later.